everyone so today I'm going to show you how to conceal a spot slash blemish you could do this for acne scars as well the demonstration will primarily be on this spot here and not this one because I'm convinced now at this stage that it actually isn't a spot that it is in fact the spawn of Satan so the first thing to do before covering the blemish is to actually treat the spot and I've been using this system lately I start out by cleansing just the area that is broken out. I don't use this all over the face because it's not necessary. Next, I then tone the skin and this one is quick and convenient because it's in a spray bottle. I just can't stand the smell of the Dermalogica toner, but your look, it's doing the skin good, so I'll trooper on. And finally then, I use the breakout clearing daytime treatment and I just pat this onto the blemishes and wait a couple of minutes for it to absorb into the skin. And then that's it for the treatment part, I included it just because personally I think it's important to treat the issue as opposed to just masking it, so now onto the makeup. I'm beginning by applying the Elements Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm and this is going to act as an illuminating primer. My skin can look quite dull at times so I want to give it a glow, but along with that sometimes my spots can be dry and flaky so that's why I avoided using a mattifying primer and when it comes to applying this over the blemishes I literally just pat the product into the skin. Next I'm going to do a little bit of colour correcting and I know not so long ago colour correcting was very popular, people were dotting lavender shades, pinks, greens all over their face. Personally I don't think the process is necessary for the majority of people but if I do have a little redness that I want to reduce I do use a green concealer because this neutralises it. You literally want to apply the tiniest amount directly to the area and lightly blend it out. You don't want to go in heavy handed or apply this in areas that you don't actually need it because you'll end up looking like Shrek. And you can use your hands or your fingers to apply the product, whatever's handiest. Then I'm going in with the foundation and this is my feel good foundation. I love how this makes my skin look and I've actually gotten comments on my skin when I've worn this foundation which never happens. It gives a medium coverage and it's perfect for this look because if I went in with a full coverage foundation, a full coverage concealer and a full coverage powder it would all just be too much and the skin would look cakey but I just get that on there technique wise I'm using stippling motions and I'm just bouncing the brush off the skin. Next I'm going in with one of my favourite concealers the Catrice Lico Camouflage one. So I've applied some of the concealer to a brush and then I'm adding it to the blemishes. Then I'm taking what's left on my brush off so I can start the blending process. But you don't want to apply the wand directly to the blemish because if you're applying the concealer to other areas of your face, you'll be spreading bacteria around and then when the wand goes back in the tube, it's just contaminating the product inside. So that's why I use a brush. But I press the concealer directly onto the blemish and then I lightly blend around the edges and it just ensures that the most coverage is directly on the blemish, so where I need it. The colour is quite important as well, try to use one that matches with your foundation, if it's too light it'll be counterproductive and it'll actually highlight the blemish which we definitely don't want. But once I've blended out the edges with my small brush I just press my foundation brush over the area and using whatever foundation is left on the brush to make sure that everything blends nicely into the skin. Now I'm going to lock those liquid products in place with a powder. This is another firm favourite, it's more or less translucent, um, it's from Urban Decay and I lightly press this around the face and I'm being particularly careful when it comes to setting the blemish. I press opposed to sweeping and swirling my brush because that would move the products underneath and undo all of our hard work. Now I'm going in with a powder foundation and up until recently I would have used this solely to set my face because it would have given me a full coverage all over um, and I'd have been done. But I picked up this trick from Desi Perkins and I just thought it was genius. Desi uses a powder foundation on the skin around the blemish only to build up coverage in that area and it's a trick that's helpful if you have a spot that's raised, it kind of helps to level things out a bit and I do find it makes a slight difference so shout out to Desi, I'll link her video below. And just for consistency I've done the same around the other mountain but I'd hit pan on my powder before I'd even make a difference. But moving on I like to set everything in place with a setting spray. And this just ensures that nothing budges throughout the day, but it also helps to take down that powdery appearance of the skin if you've gone a little bit overboard. But then that's it. 
So I mean obviously you can't cover up texture if you've erased a blemish like mine but you can conceal pigmentation and make that less apparent and I do think there's a big difference before and after anyway so I hope you picked up a few tips and tricks and I'll catch you soon.